My name is Richard Gardner. I'm the lead graphics developer on Total War Shogun 2. DirectX 11 is the latest API from Microsoft developed in conjunction with a range of hardware manufacturers. Um, it's going to bring to gaming uh, a whole slew of new features. The key uh, new technical feature in DX11 is something called tessellation. In the context of Shogun 2, we have used tessellation to smooth out the, uh, the far terrain hilltops. In many games you often see very polygonal, jaggy edges of terrain in the distance. And what we're able to do by leveraging the tessellation features of DirectX 11 is smooth out those terrain features, giving a more pleasing visual experience as you move the camera around. AMD provided expert technical support both on-site and off-site. We co-developed shaders together and rapidly turned around some very high-performance shaders for the target hardware. Off-site, they continued to provide expert on-demand feedback for questions, or um, shader fragments that we might exchange that enabled us to move forward very quickly. With DX11 hardware, uh, we're able to sample many more textures uh, in, for one pixel that we render. So in the case of shadows, this enables us to create very, very detailed shadow maps by sampling many pixels around the center of where the shadow pixel would be. Uh, typically, what you see with shadows that uh, that we call hard shadows is they have very very jaggedy edges, they're very anti-alias, and often as the camera moves, you see swimming in the in the shadows and um, aliasing artifacts. Using the texture sampling features of DX11, we can sample many more textures for a similar cost. This enables us to smooth out the shadows, making them very soft and very natural looking compared to their DX9 um, counterparts. In DirectX 11, in Shogun 2, players will be able to enable full-screen anti-aliasing for very high-quality scene lighting rendered using our new deferred renderer. From the very early stages of Shogun 2, we uh, worked very closely with AMD to develop a roadmap for the technical features that we wanted to showcase uh, specifically for DX11. With AMD's help, we were able to create a very low-cost, very highly efficient compute shader Compute shaders are a new addition to DX11 that enable you to run arbitrary algorithms on the GPU. This is, this is huge, this is a great direction for DX11 overall, and many algorithms would benefit from using the compute shader architecture. For us, what this ultimately meant was we could produce very realistic camera-like features for depth of field that we couldn't get otherwise. We also use a technique called displacement mapping to add detail to large rocks and boulders and other static objects in the scene. So this enabled us, again with a very small art resource that we start with, to add geometric detail to a rock to make it stand out, to, to enhance the lighting and uh, to make it pop out at you. So uh, an ordinary rock might be very low resolution, you might see jagged polygon edges, and again similar to the far terrain, we now get very smooth rocks with enhanced lighting and detail which players notice and, and uh, benefit from. AMD provided expert on-site and off-site support throughout the whole development cycle for Shogun 2. We had a very challenging technical task ahead of us. Uh, moving the whole engine to DirectX 11 meant essentially rewriting the engine. So having a, an expert AMD engineer on site enabled us very rapidly to develop shaders that performed extremely well on DX11 hardware. Their assistance was critical in ensuring that we that we developed a range of features that was uh, high quality and high performance. An excellent development partner, would love to work with them again.